Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Jess. If you're new, hi and or welcome back to everybody else. Um, I'm very excited because I am doing a first impressions, bit of a wear test on a new to me product. I think it's new in general. Excuse the fact that I've got some skincare on it, but it's the What Not Naturals uh, Natural Face Sunscreen Mineral Makeup BB Cream. So it's got SPF 40, this packaging, as I said, I've got six skincare on it. Um, I also have their new Blend Build and Buff sponge, beauty sponge. So we're gonna be testing out both of these today on my face. Um, I'm excited because as you can tell, I've got redness and whatnot to cover, so it's the perfect time to try this. Let's do this, shall we? Okay, I'm first gonna read the claims, and then I'm gonna wet the sponge and See how it goes. Um, also, if I'm a little bit self-conscious talking, it's because I do still have a broken tooth. Well, it's broken over here, um, and it's kind of next to my big tooth. Um, but yeah, that's why. If I'm a little bit funny about that, but I'm trying not to be. So this apparently has organic jojoba oil and aloe vera. It's Cosmos approved, plant collagen, green tea extract, no pegs, parabens or sulfates, no chemical UV absorbers, no artificial fragrance. It's Australian made and owned, which is amazing. Of the fact, can you see that? It comes with a pump. I actually really love the packaging. It's really cool. Um, I am in the shade white. I will put up on the screen how many shades there are in the range. Flawless matte coverage, anti-aging collagen booster, UVA and UVB broad spectrum shield, which is great. That is what the little sponge looks like dry. So it's actually quite nice, it's soft and bouncy and squishy. We love that. So I'm gonna go and wet it. That's it after being wetted. It's quite big now. We like that, that's what she said. Squishy. So we'll get it onto my face. As you can see, the time to test it out right now. I do have redness, I've got rosacea, I've got some acne, or may not acne happening. All the fun stuff. So we'll see what she looks like. I have pretty much given up on trying BB creams because usually they are known to be not light enough for me. Um, but I have high hopes. Hopefully I can make that work. Very thick consistency for a BB cream. Okay, it is blending out quite nicely to a good shade for me, which is good. The sponge actually feels really nice as well. It's actually making a really good difference and it's blending out quite nicely. I thought it's going to be a little bit too dark at first, but it's actually quite good. I want to say it's full full coverage, but I'd say that it's buildable. I like how that's looking actually, that looks really nice. I wouldn't say matte by any means, but uh, with the SPF in it, matching quite well. Actually, quite impressed with the coverage so far. I 
actually really do like how that looks. I am going to apply the other side with a brush just to see how that differs, if any. So I'll get my little kabuki brush. See if the coverage differs at all. It doesn't feel greasy either because usually with sunscreen um, it can feel greasy with BB creams. I get much more coverage with the brush application. I actually really am quite enjoying this so far, so I do like it with the brush more, I feel like. Yeah, much more coverage with the brush see this side still has a bit of redness peeking through which I am fine with I actually really like how that looks though I'll finish the other side up with the brush a little bit get much more coverage with the brush so if you're a brush lover definitely apply with a brush yeah, I think that's a really good skin color match really liking how that's looking not matte but I'll need to go and get a powder then so, you see it's still quite dewy before I've set it down with anything um, I'm just using a powder by Burmese Dreams. They are another Australian brand. Just a light powder. Not too heavy. That's better with the powder. I think you can still see some of the shine but it's not as dewy. So I wouldn't say it's matte at all. But I'm enjoying the shade. It's not oxidized yet great because BB cream can oxidize. Um, I'm going to finish off the rest of my makeup, come back and then we'll do some check-ins. The rest of my makeup and I'm actually really happy with how it's looking. It's not oxidized, it's sitting quite naturally on the skin even though it was quite thick in consistency. It actually feels really nice. Um, if I didn't say you can get this at Chemist and Warehouse, I believe, I'll put all the pricing up on the screen. Um, I was sent these in PR, but they don't know that I'm doing the video as a review type thing because it's for my Instagram content that I do the reviews for, um, which is still all my opinions anyway. I just wanted to test it out, but it was a new to me Australian brand. But yeah, so far I am really impressed with it. Usually, as I said, BB creams are too dark for me, but this one actually looks really quite nice. Really good colour match. Um, not matte, but it's fine. A little bit of powder helps that. And it's about 1 o'clock. I'm going to do as long as possible for my wear test to try and get a good idea of how it goes because it's quite warm today here in Melbourne. So it'd be a good time to see how it wears in the summer because of the SPF and all of that. So that's what we're looking like makeup went on really well no issues there love how natural it looks doesn't feel heavy um uh, yeah i'll check in soon in a couple of hours i wanted to do some more like naturalish um lighting rather than just from my immediate lights um where my lounge room i'm actually really impressed with the foundation BB cream. Looks beautiful on, beautiful finish. Not matte by any means, but 
still really pretty. I think it looks really nice. Three, quarter past three, so I've had it on for a little over three hours. I'm actually really impressed with um, the foundation. It's actually dried down more. Um, so I'd say it's actually more of a, a demi matte than a full matte BB cream, which is, I think, quite interesting. It still feels really light. I still think it looks really nice. And obviously I don't do any touch-ups with these or anything. I don't do touch-ups in general, unless it's like a special occasion or whatever. I'm really liking the finish plus the feel of it. I'm really comfortable on. I don't think it's done too badly with the glasses mark test. Not rubbed off too, too much. Yeah, overall, I'm really liking how this looks. It doesn't settle into my fine lines, which I'm appreciative of. Um, I looked up, it's available at Chemist Warehouse as well as on their website, but Chemist Warehouse is currently doing a special. I did put up the price before, but it's $25 something at the moment, so you get about $4.50 off this. Um, the beauty sponge, which I can't find, that's like 15 bucks, but I couldn't find it on Chemist Warehouse. That was only I found on their website. Um, but I preferred the brush to the beauty sponge overall. But so far, really impressed. This is like, yeah, quarter past three. Um, so I'll do my last check-in probably in a few hours. So my last check-in, it is quarter to nine at night so I've had it on nearly for nine hours on a really warm day and I think it's doing quite well for no touch-ups still looks quite nice makeup has held on really well do the glasses test yeah you can see if I stop overexposing um that's rubbed off more there across my nose but the rest of the face is still looking really fresh I have dry skin, so I'm not combating a lot of oils, uh, but I do have to combat sweat. The sweatiness is real. <laughs> but I'm really impressed with this. The other thing is I don't like the lack of shade ranges. I believe there was only three in this when I looked it up on Chemist, we Chemist Warehouse. Uh, there was untinted, light and light medium. Um, so very poor shade range but there might be slightly more on their actual their own actual website after yeah overall really quite impressed with this um i quite like great to have reviewed another australian brand um but yeah as always thank you so much for watching um i'll have new videos coming up soon especially on the beauty based stuff because that will be coming soon yeah, thank you so much for watching guys don't forget to subscribe comment down below thumbs up the video as it really does help me out a small youtuber and as long as you all like to see australian makeup reviews stick around all right guys i'll see you guys soon bye